So which of the following is the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x minus 4? Okay, so sa given number 6 po natin is we are tasked to find the inverse of a function. Again po, meron po tayong given a function na f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. So all we need to do is find the inverse of that given function. So i-recall po natin how to find the inverse of the function. So ito po yung mga steps natin. So first step po natin is kailangan po natin i-replace yung f of x natin by y. So, papalitan lang po natin yung f of x natin ng y. So, by doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng y is equal to 3x minus 4. Step number 2, interchange x and y. So, kapag po sinabi natin interchange x and y, ipagsoswap lang po natin sila ng places or switch. Pagpapalitan lang po natin sila ng pwesto. So, magkaroon na po tayo ng x is equal to 3y minus 4. Again po, pinagpalit lang po natin sila ng places. Okay, step number 3, solve for y. So, x is equal to 3y minus 4. Kailangan po natin i-isolate yung y natin. So, to do that, kailangan po natin i-transpose yung negative 4 sa left side ng equation natin. That will give us x plus 4 is equal to 3y. So, since may kasama pa rin po yung y natin, which is yung 3, kailangan po natin siyang a, divide both sides by 3. By doing that, magkaroon po tayo ng x plus 4 over 3 is equal to 3y over 3. So, cancel na po yung 3 natin. That will leave us to y is equal to x plus 4 over 3. Pero po hindi pa po yun yung final answer natin because meron pa po tayong step number 4 wherein kailangan po natin i-replace yung y natin by f of negative 1 of x. So, by doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng f of negative 1 of x is equal to x plus 4 over 3. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Okay, let's, okay so let's move on to number 7. Number 7, which of the following is the inverse of f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x. So as you notice po, yung given a function po natin is nagka-contain na po siya ng fraction. So again po, i-recall po natin how to find the inverse of a function. So again, meron po tayong given a function na f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x. So, to find the inverse, use the following step. Again po, first step po natin is kailangan po natin replace yung f of x natin ng y po. So, by doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng y is equal to x plus 2 over x. Step number 2, interchange x and y or switch yung places po ng x and y variables natin. So, x is equal to y plus 2 over y. Okay, step number 3, solve for y. So, x is equal to y plus 2 over y. Cross multiply lang po tayo. So, magkaroon po tayo ng xy is equal to y plus 2. So, transpose po natin yung y natin in order for us to combine all terms with y. So, xy minus y is equal to so, as you notice, meron po tayong dalawang y na variable. So, para po maging isa lang po yung y na variable natin, we have to factor out y. So, y times x minus 1 is equal to 2. So, yan po yung factor ng x, y minus 1. Yung y times x minus 1. And now, divide both sides by x minus 1. So, by doing that, magkaroon na lang po tayo ng y is equal to 2 over x minus 1. Again, last step po natin is kailangan po natin i-replace yung y natin by f of negative 1 of x. So, by doing that, magkaroon na po tayo ng f of negative 1 of x is equal to 2 over x minus 1. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so given number 8. 
solve 7x plus 12 over 4x plus 3 is equal to 2 over 5. Letter A, x is equal to negative 2. Letter B, x is equal to 2. Letter C, x is equal to 3. And letter D, x is equal to negative 3. So in given number 8 po, is we are asked to solve for rational equation. So again po, meron po tayong given na 7x plus 12 over 4x plus 3 is equal to 2 over 5. So all we need to do is we have to cross multiply. So 7x plus 12 times 5 and 4x plus 3 times 2 naman po. So 5 times 7x plus 12 is equal to 2 times 4x plus 3. So, all we need to do is we have to distribute 5 sa 7x plus 12 and yung 2 naman po sa 4x plus 3. So, 5 times 7x will give us 35x. 5 times 12 will give us 60 is equal to 2 times 4x is 8x and 2 times 3 is 6. So, combine like terms po tayo. Lahat ng mga may x at yung mga numbers naman po na walang variable. So, transpose po natin yung 8x sa left side ng equation natin and yung 60 naman po sa right side naman po. That will leave us to 35x minus 8x is equal to 6 minus 60. Solve lang po natin. 35x minus 8x will give us 27x is equal to 6 minus 60 is negative 54. So, isolate po natin si x. So, yung i-divide po natin siya both sides by 27 to get rid of the 27. So, matitira po is x is equal to negative 54 over 27. So, negative 54 divided by 27 is negative 2. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Okay, so given number 9, find the product of 3x minus 5y squared. Letter A, 9x squared minus 30xy plus 25y squared. Letter B, 9x squared minus 25y squared. Letter C, 9x cubed plus 25y squared. And letter D, 9x cubed minus 25y squared. So, in given number 9 is we are tasked to find the product of 3x minus 5y squared. So, in order for us to find the product of a binomial, we have to recall how to use FOIL method. Again, meron po tayong given na 3x minus 5y squared. So, using FOIL, FOIL method, we have to multiply first. So, F stands for first. So, 3x times 3x will give us 9x squared. O stands for outer. So, 3x times negative 5y will give us negative 15xy. And I stands for inner. So, negative 5y times 3x will give us negative 15xy. And L stands for last. So, negative 5y times negative 5y. That will give us 25y squared. So, meron na po tayong 9x squared minus 15xy minus 15xy plus 25y squared. So, i-solve lang po natin. So, magkaroon po tayo ng 9x squared minus 30xy, negative 15xy minus negative 15xy. That will give us negative 30xy plus 25y squared. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. So, given number 10. Factor completely 10x squared minus x minus 24. Letter A, 2x plus 5 and x minus 1. Letter B, 2x plus 3 and 5x minus 8. Letter C, 2x plus 5 and x minus 1. And letter D, none of the above. So in order for us to get the factor of 10x squared minus x minus 24, is pwede lang po natin i-check yung mga nasa choices natin. Kung sila po yung factor ng 10x squared minus x minus 24. So, unahin po natin i-check yung letter A. So, again po, meron po tayong given na 10x squared minus x minus 24. 
So, to check kung siya po yung factor ng 10x squared minus x minus 24, is gagamit po ulit tayo ng FOIL method. So, using FOIL, FOIL method, we have to multiply it. So, F stands for first. So, 2x times x will give us 2x squared. O stands for outer. So, 2x times negative 1 will give us negative 2x. I stands for inner. 5 times x will give us positive 5x. And L stands for last. So, 5 times negative 1 will give us negative 5. So, bring down negative 2x squared. So, and then negative 2x plus 5x will give us positive 3x. And bring down negative 5. So, therefore, A is not the correct answer. So, yung letter A po, hindi po siya yung factor ng 10x squared minus x minus 24. So, itray po natin sa letter B. So, sa letter B po natin, meron po tayong 2x plus 3 and 5x minus 8. So, again po, gamit po tayo ng FOIL method. So, F stands for first. So, 2x times 5x will give us 10x squared. O stands for outer, so 2x times negative 8 will give us negative 16x. I stands for inner, 3 times 5x will give us 15x. And L stands for last, so 3 times negative 8, negative 24. And then solve. So 10x squared minus x minus 24. So therefore, B is the correct answer. So yung 2x plus 3 po, and 5x minus 8, siya po yung factor ng 10x squared minus x minus 24.